Now, you had an option here. You could have had the chloride attack this carbocation, or you could have drawn another resonance form and had the chloride attack there. How did you know that the chloride should just attack this carbocation and not bother with the resonance form? Because the attack of the other carbocation would lead to one more addition. Yeah, and how do we know that we don't want to do that? By reading the question carefully. This is something that I actually missed the first time I looked at this problem, so you want to make a note to watch out for this on the exam. You, they would, I think a lot of people would look at this and not even see that they said 1, 2 addition. So one thing you might have wondered is, how do you know when to show the 1, 2 addition product, when to show the 1, 4 addition product, and when to show all the products? Well, by reading the problem very carefully. If they say show all products, you should show all of them. But if they specifically say show the 1, 2 product, well, then you should just show what happens when you draw it when from the 1, 2 addition. So this would be the right answer for the 1, 2 addition over here. OK, and might as well do 29 as well. So for 29, we have the same outcome. Oh, so by the way, I should mention something here. They mentioned in the problem that another name for this compound is isoprene. That's a name you might be expected to know on the test. 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene is called isoprene. On some of the problems, they just use this term isoprene. So maybe you are expected to have this memorized. This is the structure of isoprene. It looks like you might. So it's just a conjugated system, four carbons conjugated with a methyl group attached. OK, well, let's try number 29. So 29 is just saying, with these same starting materials, to draw the major 1,4 addition product. So now we should shift and do the 1,4 addition. It's good to use the resonance arrow here. OK, good. Now this I is I forgot that I dropped a carbon. Oh, did you? Yes. Or I should have caught that. Well, it's good that you caught that. All right. One of the safest things, again, is if we were using numbers, we couldn't drop carbons. But uh, I got lazy and didn't use numbers either. All right. Well, this is clearly 1, 4. If we say call this the number 1 hydrogen, 2, 3, the chlorine would be on the number 4 over here. Those aren't the IUPAC numbers, but that shows how separate they would be here. So this would be the 1, 4 product. This is the major 1,4 addition. I guess there's another 1,4 addition where this double bond attacks first. But that wouldn't be major because it wouldn't form this tertiary carbocation as one of the resonance structures. So we're focusing on the major 1,4 addition product. So here's the major 1,4 addition product, and here's the major 1,2 addition product. Now, earlier, we wouldn't have liked drawing this because we even said that we don't like forming primary carbocations. But now we know it's OK to form a primary carbocation as part of resonance because it's stabilized by resonance. This is a perfectly legal carbocation to form here. Well, he assigned you a lot of problems that are variations on this. So I think there's a good sign that you'll see a question like this. Uh, one two addition product, one four addition, which of these molecules would be the major product from one two addition? form the major product from 1,4 addition. So I would definitely try all of these all right. and look at the answer key for that. But I think you can try those on your own. Yeah, yeah. we got the basic idea. So then there's just one more concept from this chapter okay. that I think is going to be tested. Again, it comes back to how do you know what to draw? How do you know what's going to be formed, the 1,2 addition product or the 1,4 addition product? Well, so far we've been kind of cheating, and we've just been drawing what the problem told us 
to do. If the problem said draw the 1, 4, we've drawn that. If they said draw the 1, 2, we've drawn that. Or if they said draw all the products, we've drawn both of those. But how can we predict which really will be the, the major product? How can we predict whether 1, 2 or 1, 4 is going to be more important? That's the last topic we have to cover here for this chapter. All right, well, here's the ideas that we've been working on all this time. When we have a conjugated diene doing an electrophilic addition, we can see that there's two resonance forms of the carbocation intermediate. There's two resonance forms of the carbocation intermediate. And we have to decide which is the bromine going to be more likely to attack, this carbon or this carbon. We have to decide, what we basically have to decide is which of these two resonance forms are more important? Which of these two resonance forms are more important? This is going to turn out to be a little bit more complicated than it seems. But just by looking at it, which of these two would you expect to be the major resonance form? This left-hand one or this right-hand one? Which is the more stable resonance form? The left-hand And that's because? Um, uh, well, the resonance, but the, uh, it's, on, it's connected to carbons. I think so what you're more, saying is that it's more uh, That the carbocation would be more substituted. In this resonance structure, the carbocation is on the secondary carbon. And in this resonance structure, the carbocation is on the primary. Well, we know it's OK to put it on the primary because it's stabilized by resonance. But still, all things being equal, the molecule prefers putting positive charge on, on more substituted carbon. So this is going to be the more important resonance structure over here. This is going to be the more important resonance structure. So that would give us an argument that the bromine is going to tend so the other way of putting it is, which of these carbons is really going to have more positive charge? Remember that the true molecule is a blend of these two pictures. The true molecule is a blend of these two pictures. Well, which of these two pictures is going to have more positive charge? Probably this one, because it can stabilize it more. So that would be an argument. Would that be an argument for 1-2 addition or for 1-4 addition? If we just stick with the positive charge here, then we would get the 1, 2, because remember the hydrogen is over here. Here's the hydrogen that we added. So if the bromine attacks here, that would give us 1, 2 addition. So we're seeing that we would tend to argue in favor of 1, 2 addition based on the idea of um, the carbocation stability of the intermediates. Another way of putting it is the 1, 2 addition should be faster. The 1, 2 addition should be faster because um, it involves positive charge on the more stabilized carbocation. Uh, sadly, there's another complication that can mess things up here. So we have the 1-2 addition is faster. Because, it, um, is because of this idea of the more stabilized carbocation resonance structure. Now, let's say that the bromine actually attacks over here. That would give us this product. Mm -hmm. This is the 1, 2 product. Whereas if the bromine attacks here, That would give us this product, the 1, 4 product. Mm -hmm. Now, which of these products is happier? Which of these two products is happier here? Well, which of these two alkenes is more substituted? 
Which of these has the more substituted alkene? The one more product. Yeah, this is what we would call di-substituted because there's, a, there's two carbon chains attached to the alkene, one on the right and one on the left. This is a monosubstituted alkene with only one carbon chain, 